It might surprise you, but there are certain methods that we use here that really push up our yields. And today we're going to look at another one of them, which is the use of sheep in the orchard. So sheep really only need a couple of things, water and grass. And they have that here with this damp grass. And that's their only input. They eat this nutrient rich grass, they chew it, and their microbiome is able to digest that. What do they put out? Well, they put out faeces and urine. And we're gonna look at each one of those and see how they help our yield. So here's the faeces from the sheep. You can see these are small pellets and it's widely known in agronomy that sheep urine and sheep faeces are particularly high in nutrients. In fact, sheep faeces is reckoned to be the best manure of all. And what do we get from that? Well, obviously we get organic material, which is slowly broken down by the bacteria in the soil and the fungi, which builds up the organic levels around the roots. And that has a massive benefit, particularly in the autumn, because what it allows the plants to do is to access nutrients which are stored in this organic material, but it also provides a home for their microbiome to actually live in. So the manure is producing a huge range of opportunities for things to live in it, store water, store nutrients, and supply that back to the plant, all of which has a significant impact, as we'll see, on the fruit yield in the spring. So the second thing that the sheep provide us with is their urea, which is a very natural form of nitrogen. And we'll see how that works with the plants to increase the yield of the fruit. So what does the urine and the manure of the sheep really do to the soil? Well, what it does, it increases the beneficial bacteria and fungi in the soil. And that has a huge benefit to the growth of the trees. So the difference between the nitrogen that comes from the urea from the sheep and say a fertilizer like a nitrate is the form of nitrogen and the effect that it has on the tree. When urea hits the ground, it's rapidly broken down by bacteria and fungi. And if they're in contact with the roots of the tree, they'll be giving that tree protein-based nitrogen, the kind of nitrogen that gives really healthy growth. If it was coming into contact with nitrates, you wouldn't get this short internode growth. You can see here on this Jersey black tree, We've got very healthy wood, high carbon wood that was formed this year. See the short distance between each of those leaf nodes, each of those points. That's caused by high protein nitrogenous growth. And that leads to a really healthy fruit forming tree. So in addition, the urea from the sheep does something really clever. When urea is given to trees in this orchard, they take up that protein rich nitrogen together with a trace element, zinc, which we apply with our mineral dust in the autumn and the spring. And the effect of that is to give much larger leaves, particularly around the blossom, and that definitely gives you larger fruit. So the urea and the zinc together, synergistically, give you larger fruit. The other clever thing is that urea seems to make trees hardier and the wood hardier, and we don't get the frost damage. And that's particularly important on fruit buds if you get these early frosts. So in summary, we have two major benefits from having the grazing animals here. One, we get a much improved microbiome, which really benefits the trees and, and their uptake of nutrients. And secondly, we get a really good synergistic effect between the urea and trace elements like zinc and copper.